Hey, what's up guys? It's Droid here and I'm bringing you the important info that came out on the March 20th Halo Bulletin that dropped late last night. Starting off is arguably the most anticipated and most important news, and that is the upcoming title update. I'm going to begin with the various changes and bug fixes before I dive into the big stuff. First things first, Active Camo will now fully reveal players when they fire all weapons, fixing the issue where that apparently wasn't already the case. Second, they reduced the auto-aim and bullet magnetism of the Goshawk, so this means it won't be a broken tier gun anymore. Third, they're going to fix the issue where the mastery title did not show up for certain players, as well as fixing various other issues with ordnance markers and joint in progress for the Flood playlist. Now on to the big guns. One of the big things mentioned in the update is that the red X markers will be returning to Halo. This may not seem big to some of you, but I assure you it's quite important and a huge deal for competitive players such as myself. This also means that the return of the ever popular callout, he's on my X. Lastly, they will add the ability to tweak weapons via backend tuning without having to put out patches constantly. This is really big news. What this means is that 343 will finally be able to make changes like the three-shot pistol that we saw back in Halo Reach without having to put up a patch every other week or whenever they want to make these changes. They can do this whenever they want and the feedback from the community will help balance the settings. This is really great news. This week's matchmaking update features a limited time only Community Forge FFA playlist and will place the desolate Majestic FFA playlist. My personal favorite news of the matchmaking update is that the deluxe settings in Team Throwdown are being replaced by the double pro settings in the Team Doubles playlist. Being fitted for 4v4, of course. The playlist will include majestic maps for those who have it, and the voting slots will be randomized. The last tidbit of news is that Lightning CTF is going to finally make its way into the Action Sack playlist. This game type is a lot of fun, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like it. Well, that's all for this update. Of course, you can like, favorite, comment, and all that jazz. And be sure to follow at the Halo Council and visit halocouncil.com. Also, if you feel like reading my ramblings and hearing my thoughts, you can follow me on Twitter at droid underscore CE. The last thing you should know is that the Halo Council Top 5 will be returning, so be sure to submit your clips. As always, I'm Droid, and I'll catch you guys later.